guys, how are you today? I have this packet of stuff that was sent to me by Canvas Corp. They matched up a number of us designers, I should say matches, paired us up one with another, sent us both the same or very similar packets of stuff to see what we would make with them. So this is my packet. I literally haven't opened it yet, but let's do that. I only took it out of the outer wrapper, that's all I did. Let's see what they sent me and then we'll get to making. All right. So here is some of their craft cardstock, lined craft cardstock. I actually like this a lot. There's four big sheet, 12 by 12 sheets. Nice. There is some scrapbooking paper. I like this one. Nice. All right, so there's three bottles of stuff in here. So we've got some Tattered Angels High Impact Paint in light pink. We've got Tattered Angels Chalkboard Spray, Glimmer Mist Chalkboard Spray in color Black Orchid. That's a really pretty color. And this is Tattered Angels Glimmer Glam Glitter Paint in Bon Bon. That's sure pretty. The idea behind this was to use Canvas Corp products in conjunction with some Relics and Artifacts products, which are also in here. We haven't obviously gotten to those yet. I'll show you them when I get to them. There's some burlap in a off-white sort of natural color and then a pink. Um, Amodex non-toxic ink and stain remover. I think we had this at the Creativation show. It seems to be I remember seeing it. An envelope. Let's see. Another envelope, different shape. Some tickets or tags. Not tickets, tags. There are some snap-on paper crafting fasteners, scrapbook nails. Those are interesting in two different colors. I don't know that I've ever seen those. They're interesting. This is the Relics and Artifacts set they sent. This set, particular set, is called Spirit Treasures. This piece is really pretty. See my directions, and there is a um, Seven Gypsies Architectures set of the wings, and a book cover set. And my creative partner is Heather Thompson, so we've gotten the same or similar selection of stuff. So we'll have to see what we can, um, what we each come up with. I'm going to speed forward through my process. I have absolutely no idea what, what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to try to mostly use Canvas Court products. I have a drawer of more colors of their paints and things. I'm going to try to limit it to this and only bring something in if I really need it to make it work. I have a few handmade embellishments that I might use too, but I honestly have no idea. We'll find out. I'll be right back. Okay, I start by unwrapping the journal cover boards, the chipboard that they sent me, and taking a good hard look at uh, some of the other pieces they sent me. Then, of course, as I'm doing that, I take out the relics and artifacts uh, resin images. I do have a few frames here where my head's in the way, so I will apologize in advance for that. Uh, as I am looking off to the side to the relics and artifacts and trying to think about which ones I want to use today, I decide right away to go ahead with the paints they, and sprays they sent me and distress a piece of the burlap so that I can take the two covers and actually make it into a little junk journal. I decide pretty quickly that that's what I want to do, <clears throat> but I want this burlap to have some grunge to it and some color to it that that light beige color isn't just working for me at all and the pink one wasn't either so but this is great um, it has sort of a purpley sheen from the spray and some metallic from the paint and I just distress it cut off a piece use some uh, turbo tacky uh, aliens turbo tacky glue and get it glued to the two sides of the chipboard 
and then set it under some weight and set it aside to dry. While it's drying, I am um, going to work on some other pieces of this project. These are the ends from a pair of old barbells and I use the weights to weight down things in my craft room, just FYI. So I knew I wanted to use a heart. I really liked the heart piece with the flame, sort of flaming heart shape. And I was deciding, kind of trying to decide what thing to put in the middle of it. I really wanted to stick something in the middle. I decided on one of the crosses. I take the little eyelets out because I think I'm going to glue the whole thing to the front of the journal. And I use Aileen's Turbo Tacky to glue the cross to the heart. And then I give it a good spray, a healthy spray of the um, spray that they sent me. And then I start um, layering on the metallic paint and the pink paint onto the heart shape and this is a continuous process that you'll see during the time that I'm making this journal where I'm adding the sprays and the inks and the pink um, high impact paint and blotting some off and adding some more and I do like not wait for anything to dry I don't have any patience so I keep accidentally knocking the cross around and um, things like that so you know, but I'm having fun doing it and I'm really just layering the colors on top of each other until I get the effect that I'm looking for that I really want. I do at the very end take a little bit of gold uh, metallic uh, rub or wax and I just lightly touch it over the top of the highlights of the heart and the cross. And the wax that I use is a Viva Decor uh, wax. I also use um, I use two colors, a gold from Viva Decor and a rose gold from Treasure Gold. And um, other than the glue and some tape and um, a few stickers, everything else is from Canvas Corp. If you would like to buy anything that you see me using here in the video, you can go to Canvas Corp's website or the Relics and Artifacts website. I will include the links for both in the description and you can go over there and shop around. They have some really fun things. And I love working with these resin pieces. They're a lot of fun. They're, they're very different. You can do a lot of different things with them. And they're, yeah, they're really nice addition to my uh, mixed media stash. There's a close-up of what it looks like at this point. I take a plain old piece of muslin and I take some Tattered Angel sprays that they didn't include in my packet. The other ones that I had in my Tattered Angel, in my Canvas Corp drawer. And I distress the piece of muslin. And then I also have this piece of pink fabric uh, that a friend sent me and some glitter trim. I decided I want to use all of those and layer them on the cover. And I wasn't sure actually as I was doing it how I was going to layer them. I end up just stapling them. That works for me. Um, I also know I want to use some of the tags on the front so I distress them a little bit around the edges with some um, ink that I had and I used the little nail head things they sent me to attach the two tags together and I cut out the top of the relics and artifacts packaging to use on one of the tags where it said spirit treasures and it fit, it fit really well. I also am going to put the architecture's wings on the front of the journal underneath the heart. I'm going to layer them all together. There's a close-up shot. And I, I'm trying to decide, do I want to wrap the sparkly trim around? Do I want to just leave it hanging and cut it off? I decide I'm going to leave it hanging. I like the frayed edges. I like the little bits of string hanging off and um, I don't mind if a few of the sequins fall off here and there. I do take the little piece and I glue it to the back because if you're going to decorate the front, why not the back? And that was my head, sorry. <laughs> I was having a lot of fun creating this project and I kept forgetting, oh wait, there's a camera on. <laughs> I also couldn't wait for the heart on the front to dry in place and I kept moving it. I do think I cut some of that out. I kept moving it and the heart kept falling off. I kept having to glue it back on again, so I think I cut some of that out of this video because you didn't need to see me knock it off a whole bunch of times. So I'm giving everything a nice layer of the Aileen's Turbo Tacky and pushing it down and I am weighting them down and yeah I don't really I don't really let it dry too long. I'm gonna take some of the extra papers they sent me, the scrapbooking papers, um, the craft lined craft card 
the little envelopes, the tags I haven't used yet. And you know what? I'm going to take all of them and I'm going to use them to make a junk journal type signature um, to go in the inside of my journal. Just one signature with a few pages in it. And I'm a I actually end up using the piece of pink burlap in there too, which I don't really realize that I'm going to do at first. Uh, but I do end up doing. I'm not really measuring anything very carefully. I'm just making sure the covers are five by seven. So I'm making sure that the pieces of paper I'm tearing and cutting are less than that. So they fit inside the covers. The exception being the burlap. It does stick out a little bit and I was gonna trim it some more as I was making the journal and I decided, you know what? I like that it's sticking out, so I left it. So I'm just layering one inside the other and I am not measuring, I'm not being perfect. I end up using some of the Seven Gypsies packaging. Don't be afraid to use your packaging. The nice thing about some of these products uh, from Canvas Corp is a lot of the packaging can be reused. Like the whole, with the exception of the plastic, the whole product can be used. The packaging has some really interesting designs on it. And you see me using the packaging from the um, Architecture's Wings in the journal also. And I do a simple pam three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, there's a lot of videos here on YouTube on how to do this. One hole in the middle, one hole an inch or two above the middle hole, one hole an inch or two below the middle hole. Start in the middle hole and go out. Start from the inside and then go up to the upper hole and then go back in, go down to the bottom hole, go out, go back in the inner hole, tie it off in a knot. <laughs> It's easy. You can staple it. You could do anything. Attach it however it works for you. I'll try to remember a real, uh, to um, include a very good link on how to do pamphlet stitch, but you um, start in the inner hole, you go at back out, go out through the center on the inside of the journal, then take the needle and thread to go to the hole to your right, go in from the outside through all the layers of paper, bring the needle and thread across to the other hole has no thread in it, push it out, pull it all tight and taut, take the needle and thread, push it back up through the center hole where you started, and pull it tight and taut and then tighten a couple of knots. That's really how you do it. So I took some metal corner pieces here, I had my hardware drawer, and I distressed them with the inks and sprays they sent me and dried it, and then I decided to glue that on the corners of the journal on the front and the back. I, had, I happen to have four of them, so I thought that would work really well. And as I'm doing this, I'm realizing, you know, I've got all these little bits of paper, product packaging, some little envelopes and things like that. Let's use them on the inside of the journal, and let's add these extra pieces to the inside of the journal and make it really interesting. And I end up purposefully trying to use the whole entire uh, set of the off-white nail head um, trim little brad things. I don't know what they're called, nail head things that they sent me. And um, those are really interesting pieces. They're a little bit fiddly, but they do work well and they do snap together nicely. So after I get these on, I very carefully turn the whole thing over. I just had to get some ink out and distress everything a little bit more. I did kind of get ink everywhere, but I liked the way it looked, so I was good with that. I decide to put this one piece of cardstock inside the front cover of the journal with an envelope on it. Um, it did two things. It decorated the inside of the journal, but it also covered up the staples from where I attached the fabric pieces to the front cover. So it did double duty. Um, I did have to put some clips on the corners um, of this piece of packaging until it dried to hold it down until it dried. And like I said, I love these little nail heads, but um, pushing them through some of this paper was a little bit fiddly. I do use those weights that are off to my right and kind of ha hammer the backs on a couple of them. You'll see me do, you see me do that a couple of times. I was probably putting too much paper and that's uh, one of the reasons I was having an issue. So here I just am putting a bunch of glue on there, spreading it out with my finger a bit 
and then attaching it to the cover of the journal. So here are some close-up shots of the journal and I really think you would enjoy using these products in your mixed media. Think about looking around on the Canvas Corp website and uh, the Relics and Artifacts website. If you want to join one of my Facebook groups or shop in my Etsy shop or send me happy mail or anything like that, or see the Canvas Corp links or anything, it's all in the description, so check it out. Don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and the most important thing, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.